Hello and welcome to the eighth video in this series programming a chess engine in JavaScript. So in this video we're going to generate this position key for a given position. And we're going to do that using exactly the same method that we talked about in the previous video where we just simply used uh, I think piece variables 1 to 4 to XOR them or hash them as I refer to it now on together. To do this we need some random numbers just like we had in the previous video to represent for every combination of piece on square. So that means we need, because our board is 120 squares, even though it's only 64, we'll use the 120. We need for a white pawn 120, for a black pawn 120 and so on. So everything needs a, a unique number for all these possible combinations. The same for the side to move and for the castling. So I've added into def.h an array here for the piece keys, which represent, which will be used for a piece on a particular square. And these will be indexed just as we did in the piece list, where we'll be doing the piece multiplied by 120, then plus the square. So we get a unique number for each piece and square, or a unique index, sorry, for each piece and square. The side key, we just hash in or out, so X or in or out, depending on which side is to move, so we only need one. And the castle keys, uh, the castling can be, you remember, 0 to 15 because the castle permission is a 1111 in binary, which is 15. So we've got 16 of those keys available. For en passant, if the en passant square is set, we'll simply use the pieces empty, which is 0 times 120 plus the square because they won't be used for any of the piece keys. So we'll, we can use that because it'll be available inside this array. So what needs to be done then is we need to initialize these with RAND32 values and I've already put this function inside main.js here because it really requires no explanation. It's just called init hash keys and we just fill up the various arrays and variables with RAND32s and then of course remembering to call init hash keys inside the init function so that they're filled on program start. The interesting part comes when we actually come to generate this position key which I'm going to put in now step by step and talk through it. So the first thing we have here is some variable definition as always. I'll just scroll the board down a little bit actually so we can see this better. And What we want to do is we want to hash in now into our final key, just as we were doing the previously, the unique number for a given piece on a given square. So the way we do this is we loop through all of the squares 0 to 120. We get the piece on a particular square and if that piece isn't empty and it's not off board because our board will be initialized, our pieces array will be initialized that all of the surrounding border squares will be set to squares off board. So if we're not squares off board and we're not empty it means we must have a piece and therefore we'll hash in the random key at that piece times 120 plus the square. So our individual unique index for that particular piece and square combination. Once we've done that, if the side to move is white, we'll then hash in our side key. And then if the ampersand square isn't no square, so that an ampersand square has been set in this position, then we'll hash in the ampersand square as well. And here I haven't used piece.empty times 120 because piece.empty is zero, so we simply need to use the square. And the final thing we need to do then is hash in the castling permission. And we can return the final key. And that's all there is to it. So that's our function written which will generate our hash key. And what we can then do when it comes to actually making a move in the position, so when a piece is captured or moves, we don't need to generate this position key new each time. You've have seen from the last video, we can actually just hash out and in pieces or side to move or anything, and the key remains consistent throughout. So the next video, we're now actually at the stage where we can start taking in a position and setting up a position on the board and printing it to the screen. So thanks very much for watching. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.